Big Sale Opportunities is the name of the game here, and of course the market is turning over on, well, the top 10 for this week. I'm back 30% of you guys have not smashed the live living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get to 103,000. We're within 100, actually, so we might hit that today or tomorrow. All right, so double discount sale on Tier Zero. If you use code What's Good 5 you're going to get basically 10% off of your purchase this week, which is insane, actually, ladies and gentlemen. I, I do encourage a lot of you guys to kind of take a look at some of these sales here because... Ghost from the Past here is going to chalk underneath $600, and that's going to be the cheapest Ghost from the Past anywhere, actually. Plus, you're going to get free shipping on that, which, that's that's really good, ladies and gentlemen. All right, when you can get Ghost from the Past for under $650 right now, most stores I'm seeing are pushing it at $700, $750. Actually, I think it's like $725 up to $750 at this point in time. So there's somebody out here that's looking at Ghost from the Past, too, as a possible opportunity for something that you want to acquire. Bada bing, bada boom, right here. Fantastic opportunity to pick some stuff up. Now, Tier 0, of course, on the high end of things, I was kind of curious to see what they've had in here. Ah, all of these foreign copies of the 10,000 dragons, by the way. These things are really nice. I'm actually really happy with these. They have a lot of foreign starlights in stock. They have a talent on a little bit on the higher end, but that's fine. These IPs are very nice, too. 700. All across the board. All right. All right. I, I genuinely... I, I do say this, like, a lot, but, like, the star, starlight market is a very interesting creature. Wow, available for 660. Okay. Wins... All of the effect failures you could ever want in like every language. Eerie of the Water Charmer back there for 400. All right, got a chamber for 420. That's not bad. Lightning Storm for 343. You're gonna get that 10% off, which is gonna make that even better. Oh, 297, that's gonna get really cheap. Holy crap, that's gonna be, yo, that rose is really good. Holy moly. All right. I do encourage you guys though, to take some time out of your day. Come back here and check out some of these deals because getting that bulking 10% off is, I know I've said that a lot this video, but truthfully, wow, 171, 171, just wow, you shave off another 10% off of that, okay. Even like 112, wow, 10% off of that, that's going to be under near 100 bucks for, okay, okay, I, I, I dig it, huh. And then... We also had some booster boxes and stuff. This is just one of those things if you're like a collector right here. 66 for Genesis Impact is pretty good. Tactical Masters. Oh, yeah, they also have Tactical Master boxes. 877 pre-order on a case is not bad. Especially, we're a little bit further out right now. $74 on battles. Um, Ancient Guardians, 66 a box. Yeah, when you chalk off another 10%, you're basically paying, what, like 50 a box? Yeah, just in terms of, like, collectability... And just to have a few things to sit on in terms of sealed. This looks very nice. Hmm. Battles, uh, Brothers of Legend. Ethan, you want in a case of burst. It sets so dang good. See, we also have Dimension Force back here. 831 a case, but that'll go down. And then the Duelist Pack, Deep Abyss here. For pre orders, that'll go down relatively easily. But yeah, also we had a few OCG products back here. Not a lot in stock right now. Back here in the department. I think this was the coolest thing. One of the deck boxes at 92. Of course, this will go down. A lot of people have always wondered where you can get like the uh, Asian Qualifier double deck box. It's right here. Plus, like I said, with the discount code, you know, chalking that off, you're going to save a whole bunch of extra value there. So, yeah, the tier zero, there's going to be deals all throughout the week on here, all right? And we'll peek back in here, but the sale lasts the whole week. So if there's something that you're looking at today and you're like, well, I don't get a paycheck until, you know, Monday, Tuesday, something later on in the week, you can pretty much turn back in here and revisit this at any point in time. All right, so why see a Charlotte and the Structure Deck shape the market? I've been wanting to see one of these top 10s for this week. And the other big thing was, we've seen this week how crazy the market has been. Those alubers punching the wall to do some of the dumbest value this week. Hitting 120 unverified. We saw branded openings getting bought out yesterday. Literally like a day after we, we covered them, they shot up. And I'm just like, ugh. I, I don't understand how crazy, like, 
the market is right now. But we, we did see this coming. We've predicted far enough down the pipeline that this is what's happening right now. So once again, there's some other things that will be coming down the pipeline that you can at least be prepared for at this point in time. So you can't be caught with your pants down for this. Yugi versus gearing up for two big events. Yeah, the release of the structure deck is very big. So Brandon in red coming in at number 10 this week does not absolutely surprise me in the least, ladies and gentlemen. Considering the fact that we still have a market price at $1.69 here, um, the, the sad thing is like Brandon, op or Brandon in red is like the cheaper option here of things because like branded openings or whatever in terms of value. But when you kind of look at like the general landscape and stuff on how this begins to shape up, up here for a card that gives you a free revive or free add to hand or and then the ability to get an additional fusion summon this card is nuts ah rocks rose dragon coming in at number nine i actually think this is very interesting because between this and the other rose dragon here both of these guys have been like massive culprits um in just terms of the whole like synchro toolboxing options all right the fact that like <laughs> Just basil rose shoot, you know, red rose dragon, all these stupid things in combination with things. I, I'm not surprised to see that these are so high up on the list, honestly. But for what? This was a super rare from Lightning Overdrive, ladies and gentlemen. Nibiru comes in at number eight. You know, every single week when we look at these, there's always some sort of like hand trap staple that likes to show its head and go, hi guys, I'm here. Seeing that Nibiru came in at number eight, you know, we are still in a format right now where you see Griffin Rider being a problem. But technically, a Ghost Ogre on, so you can go, go Nibiru, reveal, they can chain the Griffin Rider, you can chain the Ogre, you know, pop off, and then the Nibiru will resolve. Nibiru is really good in combination with a second hand trap, but that's only really where the value lies in it, all right? It kind of falls short to really anything else at the moment, which is kind of sucky. So I'm straight coming in at number seven. This one is very interesting, actually. Where in the, I, I get that like this is like the penny stonk of Grand Creators, but seeing that this pushed up for some reason into number seven this week is so strange to me because there's nothing right now that really cares about playing Solemn Strike. Though the card is still chronologically good as it ever was, it's just, I don't know, man, this is, this is interesting. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit coming in at number six, this card is the definition of good right now. This card being able to effectively cut off a draw two, you know, by popping off a Faithful Adventure, stopping a Draco back search, you stop the search of that, which means that they can't send the Faithful and the Draco back to get to the draw two if they're playing the Magician Souls package. The card is absolutely one of the most powerful cards in modern era Yu-Gi-Oh! Just because of one simple interaction in the game, and I think that that's cool. Imperm coming in at number five, hand traps, ladies and gentlemen. Do not underestimate them. Considering the fact that you have Ogre and Nibiru that both made this list, yeah, I'm not surprised at the very least. All right. There he is. There's Guardian Chimera. Down from number three last week. So this, this should prove to you guys that the market is looking at things like Guardian Chimera right now. You know, like I said, with the Albas Structure Deck right around the corner here, you know, you play two Chimeras in your deck, you get draw power and board breaking, all right? Do not underestimate how good Chimera is, all right? If Chimera hits the $50 mark, you're gonna be like, oh, crap, um, what do I do about this? Call by the Grave came in at number three. What? So, this is interesting. Call by is still limited to one, which means that there were enough players picking up one call by the grave this week that it made a splash on the market. That is very interesting to me. Holy crap. I did not expect that. Noah Punk Foxy Tune. This doesn't surprise me either. Um, this is one of those cards you kind of just look at here with the way that the game is set up right now. And you're like, well, it's got to be good eventually, right? This stupid thing has only an $8 price tag on it. So you know darn well people are looking at this and going, oh, yeah, I want to play this. And then to hark down here, finally becoming number one bestseller this week here. I am not surprised about this whatsoever. Truthfully, being able to steal Destroyer Phoenix Enforcers with this is really what this card's good for. All right? Taking those key resources from your opponent will be the reason why DeHart continues to see crazy amounts of play. And I'm absolutely excited to see that, you know, Dark is... <laughs> 
the best charmer by far. I you know, it's very strange, right? The element of dark is the best in the game. Yay! Yeah, <laughs> shouldn't be surprised there. So, guys, what do you think about today's market? Please, if you comment down below, tell me what you guys think. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. So, you guys, don't miss out more awesome content. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.